Hello guys, it's Night Zookeeper Buzz and I'm here to show you around the Night Zookeeper drawing tool. Probably the first tip I could give you would be how to use the shape tool. Now, we created this to save you lots of time so you don't have to do lots of scribbling. So you'll notice that if you draw a shape and when you take your finger off, it fills. This is so you don't have to spend all that time scribbling. But if you don't want to use this feature, you can click down here and you'll see that the shape tool is off and then when you draw a circle or a shape you'll notice it doesn't fill in. You can also change the thickness very thin line, a medium sized line or a very fat line. If you make a mistake you can always go back. If that wasn't a mistake you can go forward and if you want to start again up here you can click the swirl with a star in it We'll check to make sure we're sure we're going to start again. Another cool feature would be to show you the colour mixing tool. Now this is great because as you see on the right here we have all of these colours but you can make your own. There's an opacity tool here. An opacity kind of means if you can see through it. Um, it's a bit like shading so the harder you press with a pencil on paper the darker it would be and the lighter the lighter. So this replicates that because it's very hard to do that with your finger on a device. So if I select this on, it's going to be half pressure, you see. So if I take, for example, the pink on half pressure, there we go. So if I draw a shape with the pink, and if I draw a shape with the yellow, inside we get a completely unique shade of orange. So this can work in many ways. So if you want to make a darker orange, for example, I might select black, draw black, and then take an orange, make it 50% pressure, the colour mixing, go over the top, and you can see I can control how dark my orange is. If I do it again, you can see slowly starts to shade and this is really great when creating your drawings because you can create lots of depth in your artwork which is great of course you have an eraser over here which can either erase completely or again we can go to half pressure and it will erase parts as you see here which is great uh, another Pro tip would be that you can add physical artwork if you've created a drawing or a painting offline and you want to bring it into the night zoo, that's easy to do. You would click on this camera here and it'll ask you to select a file from your device. You can see that I created a fish drawing earlier, so I'm going to take that. And then what you need to do is cut your drawing out. So in this case, I've created a fish. So I'm going to draw around the fish. Which you can see here. And then hit save when I'm happy with it. And I'm just gonna move it around as you can see. I can make it a little bigger if I want by putting, clicking the plus or smaller by clicking the minus and put it in my night zoo and I'll hit save and now there it's there and what I can do even is I can add to my drawing I did offline so if I wanted to make these red dots a little brighter I could just go in and draw over the top so now I can draw onto my drawing. as you see here. Great, well that's most of the tips that you'll need to create magical masterpieces. So um, I'll be back with more tips for nightzookeeper.com. Thank you.